Today I'm going to be bringing this old stereo system back to life. Uh, I'm not going to restore it into pristine condition, but I do want to get it in working condition. That way I can have some good sound throughout my barn here. I'm going to install it up here on the, up towards the roof. Uh, this is an old stereo system that I pulled out of my granddad's auto shop. It's been sitting uh, unused and collecting dust for probably about the last 30 years or so. Um, in pretty bad shape. I don't know if it works. So I'm going to do what I can, try to get it working, and hope we can get this cleaned up and installed and get some good sound. Before I get too carried away with this, I'm going to plug it up and see what I got. Um, make sure I even have power, see what's going on. It's hard to tell. I don't see anything lit up. Okay, which I don't have the speakers plugged in. But I thought I might at least see some some lights. I'm gonna take this cover off. There is an old record in here. Well, not real old. Hank Jr. Uh, see if, well, turntable starts. Okay. All right. Like I said, I'm gonna start cleaning this up. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blow off all the dust. I got this air compressor. I'm gonna blow it all out and then I'll wipe it down. Then I plan on putting some of this. Um, silicone spray on it to, to waterproof it a little bit. this cleaned up a little bit I'm gonna do a, a real test with it plugged in I'm gonna hook up the speaker one of the speakers did have a, a wire with it um, plugged in right there but you can see it's spiced spliced pretty poorly so I'm not sure if that will that will work or not so I got the, the Hank Jr. record back on and we plug it up and let's see what we get so I do have a light here I didn't I don't know if I noticed that earlier. It may be just because I didn't see it, but I need to super glue that surface on. Um, I don't I don't hear anything. Let me see what's going on here. Um, oh, looks like I'm I have tape on, but don't have a tape in there. Um, let's see. We'll go to FM. Let's see what we got. Oh, we got static. That's good. I mean, Let's see if I can get it to a station that... Hey, look there. Well, we got... Well, there we go. Well, that's good. We got sound and picked up a station. Um, let's see if we can get Hank Jr. to sing for us. I got a 33. Uh, I need to go to turn the phonograph on. Let's start. Let's see what we get if we get anything. The needle's probably all messed up. Yeah, that's pretty rough, but that record's all dusted up. All right, well, now I'm going to plug in this other speaker, um, and then I'm going to get it installed up in here. So now that I got it cleaned up a little bit, I need to figure out how to wire this one of the speakers came with speaker wire and a jack and the other one did not here's the the old jack um, 
and you can see it has two wires coming into a single jack. So I had to get creative and see how could I do this with the one that I didn't have and use things I had laying around. So I took one of the TV cables. Uh, you're probably familiar with these. It has red, white, and yellow. The yellow is per um, picture, so I didn't use it. But the red and white cables are for audio. So what I did was I split one of these. Uh, I'll use one for each speaker. Um, but what I did was, you can see when you open it up, it has exposed copper wrapped around a jacketed copper wire. So what I did coming out of the speaker, I took the exposed copper wire uh, and tied it to the negative end. You can tell it's the negative end because it has the white stripe on this right side. So all that, this one right here was connected to the white negative and then I um, stripped back a little bit from this jacketed end, connected it to the positive. So I'll show you that this works. Let me turn it on. stereo right there on the shelf built a little platform for it I got all my wires routed up through the top one speaker there and one speaker on the other side of the barn right there so let me try it out let's see what we got pretty good Oh, we had a little static. Let's see. There we go. There is one last thing to do. These old radios that I had. I got tired, tired of messing with them. I think I know a really good place for them. Who needs clock radios anymore? We got phones. 